How does Spain celebrate Three Kings Day? In this video, we're gonna talk about a holiday that starts with a parade and ends with you hoping not to find a bean in your cake. What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona and more. And if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my channel where you're gonna find other videos about other Spanish traditions and videos that are gonna help you get better prepared for your next trip, keep you connected after you leave, and keep you in the loop on what's going on here while we can't travel. I've done a lot of videos over the past month about the Christmas season here in Spain, and you can check all those out in the link above, but it all ends on January 6th, and this is the best day because this is the day of presents. When I was growing up, what we always had was Santa Claus on the 25th. Here in Spain, it's not that big of a thing. The 25th is a day where you might get some smaller presents, but it's January 6th where the big presents come out. And Santa Claus doesn't come and leave them under the tree. It's the three wise men that are coming. So it's celebrated as Three Kings Day, known here in Spain as Reyes Magos. And what you have is really a day that's celebrated during two, both the 5th and the 6th. And it all starts on January 5th in the afternoon with the Cabalgata, which is a big parade that's going to be taking place all over the country in all the cities, all the towns where the three kings arrive. They travel around the city. Everybody comes out to see them. They're throwing candy and everything. And the whole idea is that they're here. They've arrived. And all the kids get to see the three kings that they've been writing their letters to all month. Now the kids that have written their letters to the three kings are super excited for the next morning because that's when they're gonna wake up and they're gonna see all of their presents. But the night before, what you always do is you leave your shoes outside, either outside your front door or on your balcony, and you leave out some candies for the three kings. We always left out milk and cookies for Santa Claus. Here you leave out those turrones for the three kings. The next morning, it's always fun to do the gift exchange and see what the three kings have left for everybody. But my favorite part of the day has to be at lunch when we celebrate with the Roscón de Reyes. Now this year for lunch, we did something a little bit different and we ate canalones. Canalones here in Catalonia are kind of like little mini lasagnas almost that traditionally are eaten on December 26th. I was just super happy to be able to share it with you because I talked about it in one of my other videos, what these actually are, and I wanna be able to show you what they are right here. My girlfriend's mom made them. They were absolutely spectacular, and it's usually just some leftover meat kind of wrapped up like lasagna, and then bechamel cheese put on the top. Really, really good. We combined that with some butifarra, which is a white sausage here. It's really, really popular, and it was a really good meal to celebrate with. But the big event comes afterwards for dessert when you take out the roscón. The roscón or torte here in Catalonia is a round cake, a hole in the center, and it's topped off with all sorts of different dried fruits or even pine nuts, kind of like those jewels to a crown. The idea behind the cake is that each person gets a piece and there's a winner and there's a loser. So when we start off, everybody takes turns picking out which piece of the cake they want, which they think is going to be that winner, hoping not to get the loser. And when you eat the cake, you either find a small little ceramic king on the inside, meaning you're the winner and that you get to be crowned, literally crowned for the day as the winner, or you find a bean. And that little bean, known as a aba here, that bean means that you're the loser and that you have to pay for the cake. You can see the card that came with the cake this year that says if you find the bean, you have to pay for the cake, but don't lose hope. You're still going to be fortunate. And if you find the figure of the king, you have no other choice but to be crowned king of the festival. Now this year, I really wanted to win. Fortunately, in the past, I've never lost, which means I've never found that bean and had to pay. Knock on wood. But I have won twice. And that means that I have two kings. So this year I was kind of hoping to round out that group, have the three kings, and really win this year more than anything just to have that third king. Spoiler alert, things did not go as planned. Let's see if I win. Voy a romperlo. No. No. No está. It's not here. So you can see that I didn't win, but I also didn't lose, so I can't be too upset, and I'll have to wait just another year to see if I can get that third king, round out my set. Let me know if you were successful in finding that king, or if you had some bad luck and ended up having to pay for the cake. Remember to check out more of my videos about some other Spanish traditions or other things that you can find here in Barcelona and Spain as a whole. Remember to like the video if you haven't done so already, and subscribe if you want to find out when my next videos are coming out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.